Hey guys, and welcome to what I'm going to call uh, our first chill playthrough. It's just going to be me here today. No Austin, no nobody else. Uh, we're going to be playing Spore. Some of you may know this game. It came back out in, t it came out in about 2008, and it is one of my childhood games. I grew up playing this just a metric ton. I probably put about 200 or so hours into it. In fact, when it was actually first announced, I ended up, um, I ended up actually getting it as a physical copy, and I've played that physical copy basically to the point where it was worn out. All right, what are we gonna name our planet? I'm thinking, hmm, Beefaroni. So the name of your planet doesn't really matter until I think the final stage, which is space stage. But this game is devised up into five different parts. We start off in cell stage, which you're going to see here. And then we go to creature stage, tribal stage, civilization stage, and space stage. I myself have not beat space stage because whenever I create a new, whenever I play the game again, I just create a new world. Which is a bad habit of mine, but I just gotta sit down and play it. And boom. Little fragments everywhere that apparently contain life. But out of all the stages, I've definitely played Cell or Creature the most. So these are the ones I'm gonna be the most familiar with. So I ended up choosing the carnivore, just because that's my personal favorite. It's a lot easier to deal with. Actually, no, I'd argue that it's more difficult, because you have to not only hunt for food, um, but the hunt can actually, like, your prey can hurt you, at least in cell stage, and even then in the regular stage. Uh, well, in creature stage, not the regular stage. In creature stage, your Let's see if we can get one of these guys into it. Yeah, in creature stage. Um, you have to actually go out and... Oh, well, there's a first death, first death of many. You have to go out and hunt for your prey. So you have to go and kill another... Pe kill a, a set of people. Well, basically make it a, a species go extinct just to be able to eat, because in that point, hunger ma hunger is a bar that you have to worry about. But as of right now, I decided to start off the game in normal, so expect to see me die a lot. Sometimes this game can just put you in a corner and kick you around like it's nothing. But yeah, this is going to be a, uh, just a more chill series here. I, uh, just plan on having a good time with this game and relaxing a little bit. But for right now, we're going to go get some spikes on my dude, because spikes are nice. Alright, cool. Let's design it a little bit. Um, thinking more like a parasite. See if we can get a. Ooh, we can. If you get it just at the right angle, you can actually get the spikes to be on the side like that. So we'll see if we can make it almost like a funnel. And. I'm thinking like a blue ringed octopus. And change that to blue. Oh no, blue ringed octopus are orange. I'm stupid. So what are we going to name our people? Hmm. It's kind of got SpaghettiOs going on there. Let's just call them SpaghettiOs. No idea if that's how you spell it. Probably not. But hey, I ain't here for some judgment. I'm here to create my SpaghettiOs and go uh, kill some folk. And it's impossible to eat. Maybe. 
Well, back to the drawing board. Let's see here. Maybe I should put the spikes on the back for prey. Oh, well, for predators. That way, if I'm ever getting chased down, I'm not too worried too much. I'll make the mouth a lot bigger, so... I actually don't know if it has a bigger hitbox, but if it does, that'd be great. I know for a fact... So there's six parts you can see up there in the corner. And, um... One of them is spikes. Then we have cilia, I think. And cilia is... Uh... What's it called? Cilia just makes you turn faster. And then we have... That, Cilia, and Electric, Poison. Poison is um my fav one of my favorites. Electric is also super nice. And one of the big issues with Electric though is that it's on a, on a timer, which I'm not a huge fan of. No, he realized he had to stop and fight. Boom. Come on, dude. Just let me eat and eat. As well as there's Probiscus, which is for omnivores, and Jet, which is just a faster version of the flagella that we have here, which these guys have. And the way you get that is you either find a meteor, or you kill the you kill the cell in question that would have it. And luckily for me, I was able to catch up with that guy relatively quickly. We're gonna get some of these grubbies. And then you can see on the bottom bar that every single time I eat, my size, like that little meter on the bottom is going up. Ooh, poison right off the bat. Sweet. My little meter's going up, which is helping me grow and be able to get, quote unquote, better and better out of this cell pool. And that's kind of the goal, is we want to be able to grow out of the cell pool and become creatures. We're following a path of evolution in this game, which is really interesting. One of the most interesting things about this game, though, is the pathing system. There's herbivore, omnivore, and carnivore, and depending on what you get, you get uh, different, st um, not necessarily stats, but equipment for the future levels. Let's see, spikes, I'll drop that for poison. I'll end up coming back for spikes, but poison's pretty important right now. I'm not going to say I know a lot about this game, but I remember playing this a ton, and I feel like I've learned a lot from just playing it. But, here I am, sounding like a broken record. Come on, give me food. Come on, don't gotta play the game like this. Some of these cell stages just downright suck, though. There's one in particular which I remember is not necessary, not too fun. Ooh, nice. Come on, buddy. Good job. Honestly, it might just be this one. Ooh, come on, come on. Yes! Those guys dash away. I'm getting super lucky right now with collecting all this meat. Those jet guys could just dash away, and those are the ones that are the omnivores. So if I wanted to have an omnivorous mouth, I could. Or I could just do an herbivore and an omnivore together, which works just the same. But that doesn't really matter too much. But as I was saying earlier, you follow this pathing of herbivore, omnivore, and carnivore. And I'll show you here real quick. So herbivore has different things that are usually more helpful or beneficial to making towards friends. Omnivores are just kind of basic. Um, you're very neutral, whether you're good or bad, not necessarily sure. And then carnivore, this is the this is the one you'd be looking for if you were trying to take over the civilization, which is kind of what I'm doing. I plan on doing. But as you can see, we started out here, and then this is our evolutions of generations and generations off of the uh, millions and billions of years up at the top. There you can see. 
but today in this video we're just gonna get through the south stage and then should be able to see me go my way through uh, creature stage tomorrow I highly recommend this game to anybody who's even mildly interested on it though it is a downright amazing game up until uh, I'd say oh, oh. Bunch of fuzzy guys. Um, up until probably tribal or civilization, you get like kind of get bored because you realize it's the same stage twice. But space is just so expansive that there's not really much. Um, there's just so much to do that you kind of get drowned in all of it. And then next thing you know, you restart the game, just play through Cell and Creature, which are my personal favorites. And you keep doing that over and over and over again. Let's see if I can get one of those electric guys now that I'm big. I guess this one works. Sweet. I died too. Nice. But as you can see also with the cell pool, the, the larger you grow in the cell pool, the more detailed these flowers become. Which is pretty cool. I think it's a little neat addition that they added. Yep. I don't know what the hell just happened there, but I kinda wanna go figure it out. Something died. That's a lot of electricity. And there he goes. Interesting. Let's just see if I can get a little big enough to where I can escape this this one. Because meat is harder and harder to find, so you just gotta go hunt for it. Oh, what? Huh. Must have not had much health. Cool. There we are. Basically, that's how the omnivores just react. They just dash the hell away, which gets kind of annoying after a while. Because it becomes super hard to even be able to get them. Let's see if I don't choke myself out here on this poison. And no, I just got stabbed to death. These guys are the little assholes. They're basically never ending hunters. Chase you down to the ends of the earth because that's they want they want to eat you, bruh. But luckily there there's enough of them here that I can be able to get through this stage like that. Three of them just spawn. And boom. And here we are, top. This is the last stage. This right here is, this one's Ma, and then they have another one that's named Pa. Who's, uh... Sweet. Yep, Ma and Pa are two of these. And I think that, that one's Junior, if I'm not mistaken. And it doesn't matter, they're all dead. Yep, Junior. So when you kill Ma, a bunch of juniors come out, which is pretty cool. And then Pa is just like a bigger version of Junior. Never actually stopped to figure out what the background is on this one, because the background on the other ones is the cells that are a little bigger than normal. Oh. I think we did it, boys and girls. Nice. Pat. Congratulations, you're on the path to sentience. So, now, 
I can click this button right here, and then I advance to creature stage. So let's just go and do that real quick. You see this bar that I showed you earlier where it's turned, shown that we uh, went from an omnivore, ate more meat, and turned ourselves into a carnivore here. Which is kind of what the goal was. I'm going to go for much more of an aggressive route here. And let's see. Let's just drop some legs on him. I'll edit him more in the next video. Keep that. We got poison. We don't need that now because they give you set boosts. Like Jet's better sprint, Celia jump. Uh, flagella sneak and then charm spit charge bite bite sing fun stuff one cool thing that this game did add is if you don't have an eye you lose your eyesight and it's basically just a dark world like it's almost always nighttime but for now let's hit this and watch this little cutscene and then see you guys in the next video